everyone, it's your girl Weeza and welcome back to my world and in today's video we're going to do a full face using only one dollar makeup. So in my last video I did a big haul of all of the stuff that I bought from shopmissa.com and it's an online dollar store where you can purchase makeup and other fun things like jewelry, things for your hair. If you're interested in seeing that video I'll link it down in the description bar below so you can see all of the goodies that I got. But in today's video I just wanted to focus on trying out the products, my first impressions and if they actually are worth the dollar that they're worth and if they are better or comparable to some luxury and drugstore products altogether. This is the final look. This is what I came up with. I achieved this entire face using maybe $30 or less of makeup and I think it looked so good. There were some bumpy roads ahead so make sure you stay tuned and watch the entire video. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look right here, this beautiful purple blue sunsetty eye, then keep watching. Okay, so let's get started. I literally just put all of the product right here, set it on my vanity, and we'll pick and choose and go from there and get this look started. I literally have nothing on my face. I only fixed up my brows a little bit and kind of set them up like I always do, and nothing new. And you may notice that I am super pale. I am super white today. I did not fake tan for a particular reason because if you remember, these are my complexion products that I have to go with, and if I tan, then these would absolutely not work at all. So I did not want to deal with that situation, so I'm just gonna stick with my natural tone and hope and pray that it works. I went all natural for you. I didn't fake tan. This is a really big deal for me. We're like practically best friends right now because this is me in my untanned form. So I'm going to first start by putting these little clips that I bought. These are like the no crease clips and they came in a pack of three. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put a little something something on my lips. So I'm gonna go in with this coconut lip mask and guys, this is actually pretty good. I was pretty surprised. Usually I just grab a little bit like this and just put it on my lips. And it goes on really white, so you do have to like blend it in and really get the product in there. But after you blend it in, it looks something like this and you barely even know that it was a white cream to begin with. It feels super comfortable and super moisturizing on lips and I really, really like this a lot. For primers, I have two. So I have this Clean Slate Primer, which is just like a hydrating primer. And then I have this like Blur Perfecting Primer. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this and put it straight on my hands. It just feels like a moisturizer. It doesn't really have a smell or a scent or anything like that. It just kind of smells like skincare. Like, you know what skincare smells like? Yeah, that's what it smells like. Next, I'm gonna go in with this Blur Perfecting Primer, and it's just like a glossy kind of consistency, and it's clear. But I'm gonna go into my T-zone here and just apply this, and it's like super, super glossy. It feels like I'm just putting like a lip gloss on my face. I don't really think that it did much. It does feel more smoother, in like the crease areas that I put it, but I don't know if that will be good or bad when you're applying the foundation, if it'll make it like slough off. Next, I'm gonna go in with foundation and I'm just like too excited to try this. I would usually, and I should do my eyes right now, but I'm just too excited to try this. And I wanna see how it wears throughout this video. I'm gonna go in with this AOA Studio Pro Wear Foundation. It's supposed to be full coverage and it's in the shade Buff. And I'm gonna go in with that with my Beauty Blender. So this is the Silly Dip. And this sponge has half silicone on top and half sponge at the bottom. So I'm really, really interested to see how this works and like how it blends a product. So we'll do like, maybe, yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll do half the face with this sponge and then we'll do the other half with one of these buffer blender brushes that I got in that kit. I probably should go get this wet, so I'll be right back. So I'm back and after I got it wet, it looks really funny because the sponge really grew and it kind of looks chubby like it looks like really fat at the bottom and then obviously the silicone part is silicone so it didn't grow so it looks like kind of like a mushroom in a way right now funny i think it's really good for holding on to the sponge because like the silicone really grips your hand but i don't think that's what the purpose of this is so i'm going to apply the foundation directly onto my aoa studio palette here shake her up i have no idea if it's like a liquid consistency or what so we're doing this for the first time together. So it is super thick and creamy like that. I'm gonna use that silicone side, dip it into the product here like that and just apply it to the face. And honestly, <laughs> the shade might not be that bad. And I'm gonna go in and blend everything out. I don't feel like the product is absorbing. <laughs> I just feel like it's moving around and it's just making a mess on my face. It feels like I'm just hitting my face. I don't think that sponges it. I'm gonna use the other side. Okay, at least we have something happening now with this side. So that is the side with the sponge complete. I don't think the silicone did anything really. It just really helped put the product everywhere, but it didn't actually help blend the product. So I don't really think this is it. I'll be sticking to my beauty blender. Going in now with the brush and you can see picked up a lot of product and I'm just gonna apply it to the face 
already just like right away I already like the brush side and how that's working right now better than the sponge side and I feel like the product is just like blending into the skin better just less work overall using a brush so to compare the two sides this is with the sponge and this is with the brush and we'll let that sit and see if it oxidizes or whatnot. But let's get onto the eyes. This is the AOA Studio Nude Soft Base Eye Primer. And I'm going to use my palette again just to kind of be able to work with the product. So you can see it is a nude color there. Let's use another brush. I'm going to go in with like this little pencil dude. And I'm going to go in with a little bit of base and I'm just gonna apply it directly to my eye. The base feels very concealery, if that is like even a word. And it did blend in really well and it did cancel the redness out of my eyes. She's supposed to make the eyeshadows look more pigmented and longer wearing, so let's see if that works. So the two palettes I'm going to be playing with is this Date Night palette. It is a magnetic palette that has all of these beautiful shades in there. And I'm also going to be combining it with this similar color story here of Shimmer palette. So you can see the comparison between the two palettes. They're actually quite similar in color story. Of course, if you're interested in getting these palettes, I'll link them down in the description bar below so you can go ahead and get them yourself. Going in with the Date Night palette, I'm going to dip into this like tanny brown shade. And that actually is taking color off, tap off any excess. And I'm just gonna go in there and blend that out. We're actually getting color and I'm happy with this color right now. It's turning up a little bit more orangey than it is in the pan. It looks more browny kind of nude here. Gonna go in with this orange shade right here and she's got pigment guys. Tap her off and I'm just gonna create a V on my lid right here, like a deep V. Kind of like that. And then I'm gonna continue darkening it up and bringing it not all the way to the eye, but like to here. And for those first two colors, there wasn't very much fallout, if any really, that came out. So that's a win. Now I'm gonna go in with this dark brown matte shade. I just wanna darken up that V a little bit. We wanna have like a little bit of a smoky situation happening, but we don't want it to be too bold that I'm using this black. I just want a nice soft, situation happening. So I'm going to dip into that and use like a smaller little more precise brush and just go in and tap in that brown and darken up that outer V. So from here on. And it doesn't have to be clean because we're going to go and blend this. And there definitely is more fallout with this shade. Okay, <laughs> it's getting pretty crazy up in here. I just like the, the shadows were a lot more pigmented than I thought and that orange really just blended everywhere. So I definitely will have to clean that up with a little bit of concealer in a sec. But I'm just going to clear out any of this fallout because there is some there making me look like a crazy lady. Next, grabbing a fine definer brush. I'm going to go into this dark purple in the Nine Shimmer palette. I'm going to first not spray the brush and see how pigmented it is and then see if we need to give it a little bit more water to kind of give it a punch. But let's see how it is just without anything. No help, no water. Not horrible. But it definitely feel like it needs a little something, like an extra push. I'm gonna spray back into that purple. There we go. Guys, I'm honestly pleasantly surprised with the pigment on these, wow. And that is the lid done. You can see there is a lot of fallout. I'm just gonna brush off. Mm. Yeah, see? And that is why we should do our base last. I'm gonna do the other eye. The pigment on this is beautiful and I love the orangey purpley blue situation. Really, really loving this a lot. I'm gonna grab a pencil brush and I'm gonna wet her up again and we're gonna go into this light purple shade. I'm gonna grab that light purple and focus it from the inner corner and just kind of help mix that together. I'm gonna bring it to about here, not all the way. And I'm looking like a mess right now. I promise you, trust the process, it will work. And I low-key really wanna dip into this blue. I think maybe just putting it right on the center. Let's do that. I'm gonna grab it with my fingers, I think. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab it with my finger, and then I'm just gonna go and tap it onto the lid in the middle. Oh yeah, definitely bringing out that shimmer. I don't know if you guys can see that, but look at the difference between the two eyes. This one's a lot more vibrant with the blue. Let's add it onto the other side. But this is one of the reasons why I don't play with a lot of color and a lot of shadows because I don't really know how to use it and blend it properly. So this is the mess that I get when I play with color and 
I knew this was gonna happen. That's why I knew I shouldn't do my base, but I was just too excited to use that foundation. I'm gonna go in with a wipe and clean up my under eyes and fix this whole situation. So don't mind me. And now that we figured out that situation before I do my concealer, I wanna go in and do my brows. So I have this slim brow pencil by AOA Studio and I really wanna see if it works. The shade is in caramel. It's not my exact match, but we'll have to see in how it works. One side has like a spoolie and then the other side has like a fine tip pencil. So I'm just gonna go in and spoolie up my brows. There's already some brow gel in my eyebrows I always put that in and let it set while I do the rest of my makeup let's see how this goes so I'm noticing I'm having to push a little bit more harder than I usually would and you can see the color is not my shade at all and the main thing that I do with pencil is I actually draw on the half of my brow that isn't there. From like here on, it's very sparse and there's not much brow there. So I really rely on these pencils to fill that in for me, but when they're not the same shade, it's really difficult. Yeah, you can see this is a bit more red toned than I would like it to be, but I'm gonna keep going with it. I'm gonna trust the process. The pencil itself isn't horrible. We're getting color, we're getting color payoff. It's just not the exact color. I think if I were to have the exact color, I wouldn't be completely upset with this, but uh, for a dollar? Guys, this foundation is getting more disgusting. Like it's not even absorbed into my skin. Oh, I don't like the foundation. I don't know if you can see, but like it's getting gunky and like getting into my pore. Oh, I don't like this foundation at all. Sorry, the foundation is a no-go. I have a dark brown in this palette. I'm gonna use that to kind of just fill in a little bit and make it a bit more darker because it's a little red toned and it looks extremely fake right now and I need to fix that. Angled brush and get some of this product on the brush here. Maybe just mix it even in here with this tan shade and make like a nice soft, softer brown. Let's see how this works. And go in and just cover up where I put that pencil. Way, way, way better. Not so like red toned, like you can really see the difference from like this brow, this one. So I think that's the best the brows are gonna get. So they look a little bit more filled in and not natural. Like I don't really like them like that, but this is what we're gonna deal with for today. Let's put some of this concealer on. This is the Liquid Concealer AOA Studio in the shade Porcelain. And I'm gonna put it here warm up the product because I feel like these types of products need to be warmed up like giving it a fair chance right needs to be warmed up to be able to be used properly I'm gonna give it a fair chance and I am using a lot so you definitely don't need to squirt that much out on your palette and I'm going to go in and blend out the concealer yeah you definitely don't need to use nearly as much as I did because there's a lot of product here I'm gonna try to use this little silicone thing again see if she works because I usually like to do my concealer with a sponge, but uh, don't got that luxury today. And first impressions of this concealer, it's okay. I feel like it didn't really cover anything. It just made my face more white, but you can definitely still see everything underneath. And she's going to crease. Like, I already see it creasing, so I don't know about this concealer. Maybe I didn't put it on right. Maybe I didn't do it right. I'm going to set the concealer with this banana powder, AOA Studio Perfect Powder, and... If you have fake nails, this is like your worst dream, like taking this off. I'm gonna go in again with this silicone brush and right into the banana powder, like that. She's super yellow. And I'm going to pat her in. You can definitely feel that that silicone sponge doesn't absorb the product because everything that I'm putting on my face, I feel like is going onto my face. These brushes are super soft and I'm honestly not upset with the brushes. I feel like the brushes have been performing everything that I've been using them for. They're blending well. I just don't think that the products that they're being used for are very good. So I do think that banana powder really did help to brighten up my eyes a little bit and not make it so white and so like in your face. So I'm going to go in with the shimmer palette again in this dark purple shade in this pencil brush and just get it nice and coated and put it right from the corner here all the way to the middle of my eye. Now I'm going to go in and grab a little bit of this orange on this flat brush and I'm going to blend everything out 
And the last thing I want to do is put a pop of something in that inner corner. And this like duo chromey shade is really speaking to me. She's like a pink, orangey, gold shift into her. And I think it will look so cool in the inner corner. So I'm going to go ahead and just pop it right in the inner corner. I do have three mascaras to try. I'm not going to be using this one here. It is a green mascara, although I am dying to try it. I don't think it will look good at the situation that we got going on today. But if you are interested in seeing a tutorial, see how this guy works, then let me know and I'll whip up a quick like short video or something like that. We will use these two. So I have the fat lash and I have the skinny guy. The skinny one is supposed to be for your lower lashes and the fat one is supposed to make your upper lashes nice and voluminous and lengthened. So we'll be the judge of that. Let's give them a try. I'm going to start off with the fat lash and that is what the brush looks like it's like a plasticky kind of brush i don't really use these types of brushes so it'll be interesting to see if how they work so i'm just gonna go that's one coat on both lashes i'm actually impressed if you can see from the lower angle look it's actually giving me length and it's giving me volume pretty surprised for a dollar for a dollar let's do a second coat that is two coats of the mascara and for the fun of it let's go on with a third coat third coat is done how are they looking i'm honestly thoroughly impressed that is three coats of the mascara on and i think they look really really good but now let's test the skinny mascara so the brush on this guy is extremely little so let's give them a go i'm like so scared to poke myself in the eye with this so that is the bottom lashes complete. Do you really need this really skinny mascara? I say probably not. I felt like I was dipping the product in there a lot to try to get product because it can't fit that much on a little tiny brush like this. But I did get all my lashes, made them nice and black, which I really like. If you are going to get a mascara from Shop Miss A, I highly recommend this fat lash. I'm actually so shocked at how beautiful these lashes look. Now this is the part where I've been dreading doing the actual contouring of my face with this pencil that I don't know if it's gonna even work because the shade is so off and I'm terrified. I am completely terrified, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it for this video. So here we go. This is the Sculpt FX by AOA Studios and there was only one shade, Nutmeg. Yes, Nutmeg. We're gonna try our best to contour up the face with this guy. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start drawing. I don't really feel like anything's happening. Is anything happening? <laughs> I don't feel like I'm being contoured. Okay, so I have time to work with this product. So I'm just gonna put it on the face. It's gonna draw. It just looks black. It looks super muddy. Oh my God, it looks like I just put like black mascara on my face. Oh my God. Guys, it looks so bad. Don't, don't get this product. It's like black and it's like mixing with the foundation. Oh my gosh, what did I just do to my face? Should I do the rest? Because now my forehead doesn't match the rest of my body. Should I? My nose is already done, so why not? We're just going to be that type of person today, I guess. I, I'm i telling you that this is going to be horrible. It blended absolutely disgusting on my forehead. It's not blending so bad here. I'm also just going in with the brush right now, but my face looks black, like black. It's gonna give me contour for sure because it's black. Yeah, I look ghostly like really bad because I'm so white and then I put black on. So do not recommend this product. It doesn't blend good. It looks black. It's just like, I don't know what happened here. My nose is like coming off and my forehead, no. No, 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 thank you. No, thank you. I hope that this is our saving grace and that we'll bring the look together because I have nothing else. So yeah, don't mind my black contour. It looks like I'm gray. It looks so bad. Oh my God, okay. Don't worry, we're gonna fix it. Louisa, we're gonna fix it. I'm gonna go in with a clean brush, one of these guys here, and I'm gonna dip into this bronzer shade right here. Pigment's coming off and it's not black, so that's a win. And I'm gonna go in. Okay, there's pigment, there's pigment, there's pigment. Guys, we might save the day. Just don't mind me, I'm just gonna cover this black contour that I got going on here. I can still see a little bit of that gray coming through, but not nearly as bad as before. This is the moment of truth. If we can recover this horrible forehead here, 
honestly, oh, I can't believe I just committed my whole face to that contour. This powder though definitely came in and saved the day for everybody. It's actually a really beautiful shade too. This one right here, this is the one that I'm using. It's really, really nice. Brought me back from that horrible contour incident. Oh my gosh. You can see on my forehead, it's getting really clumpy because that foundation isn't laying on my forehead. It doesn't want to stick. So you can see like, I'm trying to blend in, blend it, but this foundation just won't let me be great. It's also doing it a little bit down here as well. It just like, if you can really look into my skin, the foundation hasn't gone into my skin. It's like sitting on top and it's like sloughing around. I don't really like it. And I'm living for this bronzing powder and I will continue to use this bronzing powder until I don't feel like a black and white photo. I think the best that's gonna do because as I continue touching it, it's gonna get more and more muddy here. And I don't know if it's from the foundation or if it's from the physical powder. So I'd love to try this powder again and I will try this powder again without this foundation on because I really think this foundation is just ruining everything for us. So I'm not gonna completely say that this powder is trash, but I'm gonna say that the foundation is trash right off the bat. Next, let's go into this beautiful hot pink shade that has been calling my name since the moment I opened her from the package. The moment I opened her. Go in, get this nice and coated, and product is coming off. That is product. Now I'm scared. Oh my god. She is extremely pink. Let's go in and blend this out. I'm gonna grab some of that pink and put it right onto the nose and give my nose a little blush flush. <laughs> Cute. So I got this highlighter and I have this highlighter in the palette right up here. So let's use a combination of both. I have one more clean brush. So I'm gonna go in with this brush and I'm just going to grab this highlight and there is pigment also on this. Let's go on the tip of the nose first because you know, I like a nose highlight. This is a beautiful highlight everyone. So again, this is the halo highlighter in the shade Moonstone. This is definitely worth a dollar. And we're gonna put it under the brow bone because we don't have an under brow highlight. How dare I? So just starting here and right there. So that highlighter is beautiful. Let's go in just for fun with a little bit more highlighter. This one here in the palette. This one is also very, very pretty. This one's more of like a champagne-y highlight. So let's just pack it on, put extra. You can never have too much highlight. Now that this palette literally saved the day for us, let's do lips. So this is everything that I have for lips. I have this beautiful pink shade that I'm like debating if it's too much. Might just stick to a nude. Let's stick with a nude. And let's grab this nude. Oh, I had an eyeliner to try. I don't want to ruin this look right now, but I definitely had an eyeliner to try. So... For lips, I'm gonna grab this LA Color Lip Liner, I believe, yes, it's called a lip liner. This lip liner is so smooth. And I really like the color of this lip liner. It looks really, really, really nice. Love. I can't even say that. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Malibu Glitz Essential Matte Lipstick. This is in the shade Cotton Candy. It's a beautiful kind of pinky nude shade. I'm just gonna put that on. It kind of smells like lemon, like lemon cleaner. But the shade is really nice. <laughs> So that is the lipstick on. I really, really like the shade. The only thing is that this smells low-key like, like a lemon cleaner, like a, like a floor cleaner. And I don't know if that's normal. You know what I mean? But I kind of like the smell. Is that weird? And lastly, I'm going to top it off with this lip pop. And if you watched my haul, I already put this on my lips and I loved it. It is a beautiful gloss. I've worn it a few times since that video as well. I also have these two pairs of lashes, which I originally planned to put on, but the mascara looks so good that I don't even want to touch the eyes anymore. So these lashes are the faux mink lashes. This is in the shade Jessica and this is in Jean. They look very, very beautiful. I promise you I will use them in another tutorial coming up. So be on the lookout for that. But I'm just wanting to give this mascara its little moment that it deserves because I'm honestly thoroughly impressed. I'm just gonna set it all in place with Morphe. It's like the cheapest, most affordable setting spray that I have. So I'm just gonna give her a quick little spritz here. Let that set in. And that's pretty much the makeup look complete. 
So that is this video complete, a full face using only a $1 Shop Miss A makeup. How did I do? Which products did you like the most? Let me know in the comments down below. Before you head out, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'll catch you on my next one. See ya!